Hi, this is Chris Lavin from Extreme Polishing Systems, and we are here at the entryway to Genie Land at our new headquarters here in Pompano Beach, Florida. And we're blessed to have with us today uh, Pascal and Christopher. Pascal, welcome. Thank you. And Christopher, welcome. I like Christopher because that's my name, so it's easy to remember. Pascal, a little bit more difficult, but I think I got it down. All right. Anyways, uh, they came in, you guys saw an advertisement in Concrete Decor Magazine. Yes. And then uh, you reached out to us. Yes. Went and saw a bunch of videos. Yeah, I watched, all the, I watched a number of videos online and um, yeah, I watched them for a few months and did a little research on the, the product and um, ended up calling you. Now you called us up and you took us up on our come down and spend a week with us. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you, this is day number two. It is day number two, yes. Okay, and yeah. day number one when you came in, like what what, what could you tell the, the, the YouTube audience out there that you, that you kind of like felt like when you when you came down here? Well, obviously when I walked in, all I'd seen was, um, you know, pictures of polished floors. I didn't really know, you know, what you could do with them. But, um, you know, after walking in, um, walking around the office, which, is, which by the way is a very nice office, um, I looked at a number of applications um, of polished floors and um, I found them very interesting, very colorful and um, I'm really excited to learn more about them. Nice, nice. Yeah. We went out on some sales calls this morning. We went and saw a, an existing fire department that was polished concrete. Went and looked at a, a existing, well, new new brewery that's going to be going up that they're looking to get their floors done. And we're kind of, we kind of take you not only just through how to use the machine and how to do the process, but how to go out and sell this floor. Because I feel that that's really one of the most important things that the owner operator or the, or the person that's gonna look at getting into this business, no matter where you're at, right. is how do I sell this floor to the customer? That's right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and what I've kind of told you guys is, is if somebody has a floor, they have options. They can put carpeting, they can put laminate flooring, they can put VCT, they can put tile. Right. And all that has a cost to it. You know what I'm saying? So yes. The only thing you got to get them convinced of is polished concrete is lower maintenance, seamless, you know what I'm saying? And it's a cutting edge floor, you know what I'm saying? Like this is where the future of floors is, is polished concrete. Um, and you're just at the very beginning, like you guys are, where you're, where you're from, you haven't seen really polished concrete floors in Africa. No, they're, like, they're, they're not over in Africa. So you guys are, are looking at bringing this opportunity back into your country. Yes. And going and showing people what polished concrete floors are. So what we have here today is we have down below us here is some existing carpet glue. Uh, we just pulled the carpeting up yesterday and it's a very thick, still kind of fresh, as you're gonna see as we're, we start to uh, cut this floor away with some PCDs. Um, we're using the Concrete Genie. This Concrete Genie is from 2011, it's four years old. Uh, it's one of our first ones that we've put into the fleet and it's what we're using today to do the job. Um, the newer ones have come a long way. There's been several modifications of the unit, uh, all to better enhance uh, the operator and to give you a better floor. So this, this particular tool that we're gonna be using is called a polycrystalline diamond. We have them available in three different styles. This one here happens to be the large chunk. So this has got a very large chunk to it. Single dot PCD, and it's got a wear bar here in the back, okay? Whenever you're using PCDs, this is the only tooling that's really uh, affected if you're gonna put it on for counterclockwise or clockwise. As you can see, as we spin this, okay, this plate that we have here is spinning counterclockwise while this one here is spinning clockwise. You see that? Right. Okay, so you have to put the tooling on properly to make sure that it's going the proper way. So this is already outfitted properly for this to spin clockwise and this to spin counterclockwise, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so when we turn the machine on, you wanna put it on just to double check to make sure that it's gonna spin properly. So we're gonna lightly hit this. This is the only time, and as you can see, this one's going clockwise, this one's going counterclockwise, okay? So the tooling set properly to go down on this, because if you put it down the other way, you know what I'm saying, you'd have a problem, okay? It's not gonna get you the results you're looking for. Um, the only time you ever turn this machine on is only to check if it's counterclockwise or clockwise. Otherwise, you always turn the Concrete Genie on when it's on the floor. Never start the machine up and then set it down while it's moving. Right. Okay, because you're gonna cause some problems. 
So anyways, you guys are going to get involved today and you're going to actually remove this glue. And it's about probably 18 by 8. It's probably 150 square feet. So we're going to see how fast it takes us to do 150 feet of glue removal. So sit back and enjoy. minutes I was a little on the, the, the long side yeah. on the long side anyways the, the, the concrete genie is your ideal machine for removing thin set glue mastic it literally will do 300 to 400 square feet per hour okay mm -hmm. here in the United States we charge a dollar and a quarter to a dollar fifty a square foot to remove glue right so that machine will make you five six hundred dollars an hour right I'm saying you just got to find somebody that wants to remove glue, which a lot of people do if they're going to yeah. put down any type of new flooring right. and they've removed glue down carpet, yeah. it has to come up before you can... Uh, even tiles, right? Huh? Even tiles, right? Yeah. So yeah. all your tile installers, yeah. they want to know you if you have a machine like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right. all, all, all the guys who do wood installations, yeah. mm -hmm. they got to remove the glue before they put down yeah. fresh glue. Right. Yeah. Anyways, um, I want to thank you guys for, for joining us. We're going to be having a lot of fun for this week. Uh, we're going to be bringing this floor up. We're going to do 30 grit metals. Right. And we're going to prep it for um, the overlayment that we're going to pour down on here. We're going to pour concrete, uh, which is true self-leveling concrete. 
and we're going to be doing a broadcast glass in it. As this is the entryway when people walk in to see Genie Land, they have to see some nice floors. So we're going to make it real pretty for them. Yeah. Anyways, thanks again for being here. And uh, anything you'd like to add to the folks back at home? Well, it's an exciting experience and um, looking forward to making a change in Uganda. Awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks. Thank you.